BostonRegularRadio.com, Boston's best online radio. And welcome back to Citywide Blackout on UnregularRadio.com. We have Max Bowen. Hello. Hello out there, Boston. And Ramel. What's going on? And me, Sarah Sparks. We also have a special caller, Anthony Thomas. Hello, Anthony. Hey, what's up, How are you doing? Very well. Thank you for calling in. I know you've been very busy this weekend. Oh, definitely. It's crazy. But we're doing a special a special concert tonight with Nora Jones, and everything is going to be excellent. Oh, Nora Jones, huh? That's cool. You're actually doing a scene with her. You're filming this weekend? Yeah. It's, um, the, the film is called Ted. It's um, directed by Seth MacFarlane, the uh, creator of Family Guy. Okay. It's also starring uh, Nina Kunis from the uh, Seven Stars. It's going to be awesome. Mark Wahlberg starring it. Nice. So what's it like to work on a set with everyone? It's amazing, you know. Um, I learn a lot from everybody, from you know, the PAs to set designers. Everybody, you know, it's like a big orchestra and everything comes together. It's, it's, it's amazing. I'm having a great time working on the film. Is it's it possible? A comedy, is, uh, yeah. Oh, Anthony, is it possible to ask um, what your character is on Ted? Well, I actually, I actually um, was um, one of the guys that was the groomsman in, in the wedding scene, mm-hmm. and I also choreographed a, a dance scene for Mark and Nina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, um, Anthony, uh, it's Max here. Now, just uh, just talking about um, 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 um. Uh, choreography here. You've actually been uh, been uh, doing that f- for uh, a long time, right? Yeah, I've been doing dance choreography all my life. I started out when I was a young boy in elementary school with a group called uh, Funk Effects. Okay, cool. And uh, you've uh, you just yeah, I went on to choreograph, uh, work with groups like New Edition, New Kids on the Block, Marky Mark and Funky Bunch, Perfect Gentlemen, yeah. almost every group from Boston. <laughs> Nice, very cool. And in fact, uh, New Edition uh, got our co host Ramel's eyebrows raised. <laughs> so, Mr. Telephone Man, is there something oh, yeah, wrong with no. my line? Is there going to be a New Edition reunion <laughs> coming up or what? Yeah, me, me and those guys go way back, you know. Yeah. Me and Ricky and Bobby and Ralph Treasure were really close friends when we were growing up. You mean Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those guys are awesome. Oh, very cool. Um, Anthony, a question for you. Now, um, you've been doing you've been doing um, acting up for a while now. Uh, how how did you uh, get into this? Um, I actually was um, acting ever since I was in uh, elementary school. I did little plays, and then mm-hmm. I, I went on in high school and I did some plays in high school, but. No, it was because of my my relationship with Mark, my close knit relationship, that I got um, involved in motion pictures on a bigger scale. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool. I thought of, I, you know, he invited me to work on um, a couple of motion pictures with him, and then mm-hmm. I actually my first motion picture was Planet of Apes. Oh, you mean? I, I, um, I like, yeah. Excuse me. I was, I was just saying. That was a favorite movie of mine. Yeah. Nice, very cool. Yeah, I've I've actually seen that that one uh, a few times. You know, the things that I really liked best uh, was uh, the costume. They did an amazing job with that one. Which movie? Um, uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, very cool stuff. I liked how the costumes you could still kind of tell that who the actor was, like Tim Roth, and then uh, the guy from Shawshank Redemption. I'm forgetting his name, the big guy. Oh, uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, Michael yes. Clark Duncan. Yeah. yeah, you could still kind of see their fe- their features underneath the the costume, which you couldn't see in the first movie. No, you couldn't. Now it's all the same. Yeah. He's an amazing guy too. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, um, uh, you mean uh, Mark Wahlberg? Oh, Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, okay, Mark Clark Duncan. Okay, yeah. Um, now, now, Anthony, I'm. I'm very how- to that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, now, Anthony, uh, um, um, how long were you in um, that particular movie? I worked on that for about six months. Maybe. Wow. Jeez. Long time to be on set. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Okay. So <laughs> I, just, I, 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 just, I just actually uh, filmed another film. 
it's called Contagen, is to be released at the end of the summer. It's um, a heist that goes bad. It's very interesting. It's also Star and Mark. It's really cool. I play a, a construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anthony, how are you able to land so many roles being based here in Boston? I know you lived in L.A. for a while and you know a lot of people, but I, I can't imagine that it's it's that easy for people to land such big roles as you're as you're getting. Um, I guess it's um, just hard work, you know, and yeah. determination. I hear you. you know, my passion, I, I love motion pictures, and you know, I, I guess I'm at the right place at the right time. Sometimes I, mean, I prepare myself as much as I can. Uh, I got, how do you? And, uh, and, it, and it helps to have good friends that are in the business too. You know, they give you a heads up on what's going on. Yeah. So, how what would you say is the difference between choreographing? A dance routine and acting. What's similar and what's different? And which one comes easier to you? Uh, they're they're kind of like the same, you know. You have to. But I, I guess uh, acting is a little bit uh, easier. You know, you have to draw an emotional, you know, but the choreography, you have to remember, you know, each movement, you know, and perfect the movement. They're kind of the same, you know. I think if if you know one and you know the other, you find a balance. We need to get you in here so you can teach Max some moves. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. If, if once he, if once I would he, love that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Ramel. What do you <laughs> He, th- this man is determined to see me on like Dancing with the Stars or some crap like that. I don't know. I don't know. Anthony, uh, it's Max here. Another uh, question for you. Now, uh, we talked about a bit about your uh, your acting background and your work with uh, some of the different some of the different uh, musicians. Uh, you also do some work with some more um, indie artists. You have your own label here, um, 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 uh, Big Ace Records. Could you tell us some more about yeah. that? Well, um, my my label is um, a small company that I. I started to work with inner city people from Boston and work with producers from Boston and different artists from Boston because I always ha- was passionate about working with people in Boston and helping inner city you know, grow a little bit more, get more experience. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Um, now, from your uh, vantage point, what's the biggest challenge facing these guys? As far as as, as, as far as just, you know, um, making it, you know, getting other names out there? Um, the challenge? I don't know. I think um, you just got to uh, stay positive and stay focused on the work, you know? All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, okay. Now, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, your current project, TED. Uh, this is the one directed by uh, Seth, uh, by, uh, Seth uh, McFarlane. Mark Wahlberg's in, uh, um, in this one. Do you know uh, when this thing's going to be uh, in theaters? Do you have like a rough guesstimate date? Um, I don't, but I believe it will be next year. Oh, next year, okay. Time. Okay. Yeah. Now, is it... Probably like around the uh, beginning of next year. Okay, cool. Is this a comedy, mostly? Yeah. It's just it, the story is a, is um, about a little boy's teddy bear that comes alive, and Mark Wahlberg does extremely well. This movie is so funny. Nice. The whole cast is amazing. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Um, Anthony, um, question for you here. Now, what is uh, like uh, what for you is one of uh, the best parts of being on a film set? Um, as as far as working um, on the set right now, I think. Uh, working with Mark Wahlberg, he's he's very inspirational. He's such a professional, professional person. He's such a perfectionist, and he's always um, offering something new. And he's a really funny guy, and he's great, you know, to work with. Mm-hmm. I learn a lot from him. He's very busy. He's always, you know, doing all these multi-million dollar deals, and I get to, you know, I get to experience firsthand how it is in the business with someone at that caliber and the work that he's doing. Anthony, this is Ramel here. Do you think uh, Mark's going to be doing more comedy these days or is he going to be going back to his action roots history? Um, well, I think right now he's just mixing it up a little bit, you know. He has the action, you know, the comedy and the drama and um, the next film is uh, Silver Lining with David o. Russell and then he's going to go back to... Um, the fighter two, 
So he's just mixing it up right now. And uh, he's, he's very talented, and he has, you know, he has so much talent that he can mix it up like that, and it's great. That's good. I want to see him kick that, some butt. That's what's interesting to me because I'm learning so much from him. Uh, Anthony, uh, it's Max here. Uh, now, did you did you say uh, the fighter two? Yes. So it's so gonna the, be the uh, Arturo Gatti War trilogy. Oh wow! Oh, I Very didn't cool. Know that. <laughs> That's cool to hear. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, now, now yeah, we're actually we're actually been training every day for it. Oh it's yeah. Fine. Every single day, I'm actually tired. <laughs> <laughs> every fight, I wake up every morning. Me and him are fighting. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I would win, Anthony? Um, uh, I, um, uh, you or him? If, if, if you guys really had to, pretty strong. yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take anything away from him. He's a pretty strong guy. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, he's getting faster right now. He, you know, he can get in there with a professional fight and win right now. Nice. So you mentioned we talked about the different types of genres of movies that Mark is doing. Is there a type of genre that you prefer acting in more, like drama, action, or comedy? Do you have a preference? Uh, I would like to um, get more more uh, experience being in action films because um, I love being active. So, and you know, I have children right now, so I want to inspire them. <laughs> and I know they love nice, I like that. All right, Anthony. Um, now. Uh, you've also been 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 getting into doing uh, your own work um, in, in 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 terms of uh, the film industry, uh, uh, doing uh, your own uh, short films, correct? Yes. Okay. And, and you know, I I've been um, I haven't been able to finish my projects because I've been involved in such big projects right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Right. So. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. We're, that's okay. I'm, I'm in the middle of dinner right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, all right. That's very, that's cool. All right. All right, Anthony, um, just a couple more questions for you. Um, now, uh, um, we've, all, we've, we've talked about all, all the different things you're doing, you know, the film, the music, the, uh, the choreography, but one other thing I saw, and, and frankly, man, I'm surprised you have time for any of this stuff. You also have been, have been trying your hand at doing uh, some writing, too. Doing uh, s- uh, yeah. some uh, some kids' books, some novels, uh, some some uh, um, uh, short stories. Exactly. I, I um, I, in my spare time, I I've, I've been doing short stories, uh, poetry, and uh, writing some screenplays. I actually wrote a book called Shorts, and I'm trying to find a publisher for it right now. Very cool, man. Very cool. And what's that about? It's um, it's a collection of um. Fantasy and reality, you know, because I'm very, I'm inspired by my children, so I, I try to write um, things that they can relate to. Then, you know, I worked as a teacher when I was younger, so I want to um, have some reality and try to inspire the kids to be better than you know they are. I try to you know reach out to higher ground, and, you know, try to be just try to become a, a better person, you know, and try different things out. All right, very cool. I like that. All right, uh, Anthony, uh, I want to thank you for um, um, uh, for joining us today. It's been um, uh, great talking to you. Um, well, thank you so much. Of course, of course. Now, if uh, if uh, folks uh, want to learn more about this film you're working on, Ted, uh, is there um, a website for this? Can they follow it on on uh, Facebook or Twitter? Um, I'm on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook on Anthony H. Thomas. Okay, cool. And also Twitter on um, in MySpace. I have a, um, a big ace music account on on MySpace, nice. and you can find some other some other music that I uh, produce on there as well. All right, Anthony Thomas, thank you very much, man. I appreciate thank this. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you guys so much. All right. Um, I, I I just want to say um, good luck with everything that you guys are doing. You guys are awesome, and thank you so much for having. Me. Thank you, uh, thank Anthony. You. Best of luck to you too, sir. Thanks so much. God uh, bless. You too. You too. All right, actor uh, Anthony Thomas joining us uh, here on the show. I think we should play some new edition if we got it. <laughs> Can we totally do that? I don't think I have any. Oh, uh, we, we got to work on that. Oh, we, yeah, we definitely got to work on that. Get some new edition. Ronnie, Bobby, you know Mickey what? and Mike. The next show, okay? Next you get show, some in here. Definitely. All right, cool.